Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Lilith again, unfortunately. Hopefully, we'll find Lazarus's rags or Judas's shadow so I don't have to deal with this shit again. Alright, so I need at least two bombs to get to that chest. No, let's screw this. I mean, if not for the fact that the demon heart wouldn't actually kill everything in the room because it would split all the fat spiders into, you know, two spiders each, I would have done that on purpose. So now two bombs will get me to that chest and the eternal heart. Okay. There we go. Alright, not a single consumable so far. I guess I need to just see if... gain anything that'll look oh come on. I hate Lilith so much. <sighs> Alright, so I can re-roll this and hope to get a bomb item. Promise that's stupid. Okay, I can see forever could theoretically give me trip into the shop. And money. To buy another bomb. Okay. Alright, so I did make the correct decision here. And then I basically have to take that just to... So I did manage to do it where I can now do this. I have PhD, so why not take safety cap? I'm not gonna bother with that. S Unless I'm mixed up, safety cap is like the, is the not the ace of spades, but the. Uh, Wait, is the trinket called the Ace of Spades? The one that makes it so you get more cards? So is there a trinket and a playing card? Both called Ace of Spades. I don't know. More pills means more, um... stat upgrades, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, these generators should not show up on the first two floors. Because at least by the third floor, there's a chance you've gotten a, st a stat up. But, since Afterbirth plus, well, Afterbirth 2 somewhat, diluted your chances of getting stat-ups out of um, item rooms and boss rooms. Dang it. I don't know how you avoid getting hit there. And it's the one that doesn't trigger until I get hit. Great. Okay, I 
Let's see if forever's good. Uh, hallelujah, I got a some demon heart. Okay, I was able to kill the hopper before he caught fire. Oh, but the box, I mean, it's still a terrible thing to, like, ever try and count on. But Box of Friends, the, like, the duplicated, uh, best butt it makes, triggers whether I've been hit or not. Like, you'll notice there's one flying around. Okay, hallelujah, speed and damage. I will 100% take them off the void. Unless, of course, it doesn't work with... Oh god, does it just not work with Incubus? So Maw of the Void just straight up does not function with the Incubus. It gave me a damage up, but that's it. That's a weird place for the Seeker. Tears on. Awesome. Two soul hearts is better than normally expected. There's that. I'm kind of pissed off about Maw of the Void. Okay. Come on, give me seven cents. As soon as he died, he sent out a spray of shots. Or, well, as soon as he lost his head, he sent out a spray of shots. Which is what hit me there. Alright, Ball of Man just kept me from getting hit there. so I'm going to keep looking around. Okay, that was super lucky. As was that, I was just trying to dodge. I somehow managed to run the ball of bandages into his face. Almost enough to just straight up spend two hearts 
walking across the spikes. Or wait, I can't even open everything in there without a bomb. Because the mushrooms are in the way. Four. Hopefully this isn't bomb chests only up here. Trap room. Up's good. The fact that I got plenty of money helps. Probably should have blown up the machine too, just to see. Took me up to 40%. What increased that? as well as the keeper, I'd have not, uh, or I'd have a chance to buy another item immediately. Oh well. And then of course I took Guppy's paw just because it's a Guppy item. Right, I don't have to worry about these guys' creep shots anymore. Shots was enough on these guys. Lucky dodge. I am super pissed off about Mog Void. What kind of reason is there for it not to work? Sorry, I had to keep having to cough. health up. I just need half a heart and I can trade the container instead of three soul hearts. Next time I find a devil with items. Ooh, it'd be great for like guppies, well dead cat and then you know, I don't know, guppies hairball. Something that gives me a little bit of usefulness. Because I would take Guppy's head, 
even though it doesn't actually do anything except, you know, guppy transformation-wise. Because I'm keeping the box of friends. It's a box of spiders. Yes, thank you. I don't think I would have figured that out by the name. Blow this up. Speed up. Cool. I'm grouse is great. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. So whatever health up is still okay. Alright, I'm finding more soul hearts in the wild than I would expect. Oh yeah, I always forget that uh, spectral tears go through the stone enemies. Kill these dudes. Another key. It's amazing how some runs are like, oh okay, so you're going to get more keys than you po can possibly use, but you're never going to find a bomb. And then, you know, the exact opposite as well. It's almost no way I'm making it a boss rush. Just because I'm so terrible at actually hitting enemies with Lilith. Good, I got the... Ah. Yeah, I was saying good, I got the um, Tinted Rock. But then I walked straight into... Grub that it was just meandering around. All right, that was unintentional bandages. I swear, half of these enemies I kill with the ball of bandages look like I make some super swoopy, aha, you know, like rapier thrust. It's all completely accidental. Pandora's box, I think, is worth it on this floor. Yes. Boss item plus two, uh... Soul hearts. lying around so I could use box of friends here just to increase my saturation of fire or whatever you want to call it. Wish I would have gotten Alright, I completely forgot that I hadn't done this room yet. And so I just blew on in and walked into a skeleton. Okay, well, six cents is probably worth half a heart. So I can't believe I've got nine keys after using two keys of floor. Okay. Eh. I'm 
liking all the pills. That looks like a secret room. Now I can use my one bomb on it until I've, you know, seen all three sides though, just to make sure. Another I'm drowsy. Oh jeez. Dude was way too fast. And then that stupid exploding. Wow, I lost a whole bunch of health there. Maybe I'll get an arcade next floor. Sure. Go-go bombs. Actually. That's probably worth it. Oh, I should have left, come back in, and then bought the bomb because it would have turned into a double bomb once I left the room. It's been so long since I've bought Humbling Bundle plus a consumable or, you know, Bogo Bombs plus consumable. That I completely forgot that's how that worked. Alright, yeah, so getting Guppy's head plus another guppy item would be good. Alright, get the crap out of there. Get rid of the dude that was making spiders. Alright, well I gained half a heart for coming in here. So that's something. Oh, I got Leech from Camping Conception. Something? I mean, I'd obviously prefer Dark Bomb or even... Uh... Little Brimstone. Tears up, that'll insulate me against getting the tears down at some point. Let's just fight the boss first thing. So many freaking dips. The holy freaking Louie, I actually managed to knock it hit. Did get it over. I'll trade one of my tears up pills for, sorry, health up pills for a greater than one damage up. I was going to black room the health up because I didn't trade away all my heart containers. <sighs> Dang it. The odds of me finding an item to black room here are very low, but... I guess at the speed I'm going, the odds of me getting a, uh, or fighting a boss that requires I'm drowsing is pretty low, too. There's a tinted rock up there. I think that's the first bomb I've picked up after getting Bogo Bomb. No. No, those two chests had at least one. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Ooh, euthanasia. 
use that to get it off the map. That looks like the secret room. I can't seem to be able to go as low as I normally can. And I got a free dry baby. Let's put him up. I know that's not a special room up there. Okay. Yeah, the luck up is great. Dry baby will block enemy shots. I don't know why Fear Shot overwrites every other tier effect. Like, for visibility purposes. Because you'll, you'll notice I'm getting euthanasia hits. Ah, dang it. Yeah, you'll notice I'm getting euthanasia hits, but they aren't. Looking like syringes when they fire. Oh, awful dodge. Sure. There are definitely two different health up pills. I will trade a bomb for a soul heart basically every time. not really a problem here. The only problem is keeping him in my line of fire while he's afraid. Lovers is kind of useless. Unless I get hit a few more times and get Dark Bomb out of Camion Conception. I am amazed I've only gotten one Camion Conception item. Sure, why not? It's not like I'm going to be able to trade everything away since I've already used, uh, or I've already had Guppy's Paw. How many damage up items have I gotten? Maw the Void. Other voids damage up. I'm not sure what this is going to do, actually. I was hoping it would make the shots, like, act like they were coming out of my face. It looks like it tries to, you know, fix the angle a little bit, which helps. But not enough for me to care. Okay. I've already been to both of them. Blah. Go there. That was useless. My reflex is to kill the um dude that makes the creep first, because he's usually more annoying. Unfortunately, it's the opposite of what I should be doing now. Okay. Do this. I thought he would be dead before he had a chance to actually hit me. Oh yeah, Kilt. Stop getting hit by things that do a full heart of damage. Okay. So it is negative, Mega Satan. Okay. 
Alright, looks like euthanasia shots do kill every layer of those guys when they hit. Okay, there's the boss. I'll pair throw. Ah. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll get two runes out of rune bag. To the right of this room seems to be a seeker more often than you would think. Chariot. Okay. It wasn't this time, obviously. Tears Chariot's better than it feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Because it actually gives you impact damage, as well as making you invincible. Since I'm at max tiers, I don't care so much about... <sighs> I hate those things. Yeah, since I'm at max tiers, I don't care so much about... Uh, finding good pills anymore. Or finding more pills anymore. So right now, all I would really care about, I think, is... I can see forever. But now if I find a bombs are key, I can bombs are key and have plenty of bombs. And then just, you know, have infinite keys for chests, basically. Algies is great, especially if I manage to get a uh stupid spiders. Or not spiders, but dips blocking my ability to get around. Avoid the lasers. Come on. <sighs> Raise your head, dang it. Oh yeah, I forgot I could have just kept shooting at him. And it would have, um... Eventually killed him thanks to, uh, and then I dodged straight down into that. My shadow is friggin' useless. I didn't fight Krampus, did I? That's unusual. Let's see what's in here. Pheromones, tears up, range up. Got an enormous range stat. Says it's good. Let's go over here. Kill these guys. Super weird place for the secret room. He can give an item, right? Oh, jeez, why did I come to this room? Just 
to use that. There we go. Oh, man. Finally got our damage multiplier. So glad I came into this room. If I find an item somewhere on this floor that I don't want, I'll come back for Panthro. Awash should do nothing, yeah. Alright. Avoid the brimstone. Okay, when they're afraid, they don't actually shoot, apparently. Okay. Right. That was a waste. Come on, lock up. Nope. I've had exactly one lock up this entire run. Stay, guys. so long to kill those things. Okay. Okay, stop with the dodging straight into the enemy attacks. Hollywood got another lock up. Probably fight Satan like this. Okay, there's little brimstone. Yeah, pick up all the hearts I can from previous rooms. Fight Satan like this. Then grab those two hearts for next floor. Those three hearts for next floor. I can use Augies if I'm about to die. Could have sworn there was a lover's card somewhere. No, that's a pair throw up there. Pair throw there. I actually got the bomb to work there. Alright, I did manage to avoid that somehow. Two dry babies should be blocking almost everything right here. Okay. Okay, there we go. I finally got the two uh, little brimstones lined up. Do that. Alkies will probably last long enough for me to clear out the first half of Mega Satan. Welcome whoever joined in on Twitch. I'm probably going to do a few rooms in hopes of getting items, though. Alright, well that was absolutely nothing. I can see forever is a little helpful. freaking ghosts.
Okay, made the dodge. Since when did these guys make those weird pooters? Have I just never been weak enough that it's taken me long enough to kill them that I've actually seen their attacks before? The fact that some of them get afraid and then run to the corners where, like, I'm not going to be. Okay. I don't think strength is going to be as good. Yeah, it's only a 0 .41 damage up. I can get items out of these guys, though, right? Yeah, I'm glad I didn't take strength in instead of algies and get all disappointed about it. just changes what character you are, right? So I can stop being Lilith. The problem is... Oh god, I'm the Keeper. That's why my tears went down. It's, although I guess my triple shot is all hitting in exactly the same place. That's helpful. I'm definitely clicking away from this as soon as I can, though. I can't actually use Mod the Void, though. I'm glad I left a couple of... Soul Hearts down there. making me the keeper and no batteries no coins just ugh. and then I run into that double adversary room but yeah thanks for watching like subscribe if you would I'll see you guys tomorrow